Hello there everyone and welcome back for another mod review and today I have two mods to review for you guys and showcase we have a crop sprayer and we have a voucher tractor and what we're gonna do is take a look at these we're gonna go over the shop and check out some of the specs then I'm gonna take them out on the field and test them out make sure they work properly for you guys to download and perhaps add to your own farm so we'll start with the challenger sprayer over here look at the size of this beast guys really really nice this thing really caught my eye this is the Challenger Rogue Gator 1300 version 1. The file size is 17 megabytes. The power is 294 kilowatts with 400 horsepower. Price is 250,000 with a $790 a day maintenance fee. Max speed is 50 kilometers an hour. Work speed is 28 kilometers an hour. The capacity is 5,000 liters and the work width is 36 meters. So it can definitely cover a lot of ground. So let us go over the shop here for a second over to sprayers go right to the end here there is the challenger 1300 quarter million dollars five thousand like i said right down right down the middle 36 meters uh i'll just i pop my other mod in here for my let's play this oh it's 40 meters actually a little bit big, bigger but still i really like the look at this it's really different so let's go back and we'll jump on inside and test out a few things Okay, first we're going to start it up. You notice the uh, ladder retracted there when I jumped inside. Let's check out some lights. Just fine. How about our hazards? Beacons. And if the hazards work, the, uh, the signal light should work too. Horn. Okay. So, let's uh, jump inside the cab. Not the best looking interior. Not, not that good at all, actually, but the outside more makes up for it. Looks like the speedometer does work, but there's actually no numbers there to, uh, unless they're just really faded there and I can't see them, but just a basic in interior. Nothing fancy. So let's jump on back out, and I'll show you the animation of this thing unfolding. There's a couple other controls I have to show you guys as well. Because there is some mouse controls, and if you're used to these sprayers, you already know what the mouse controls control. So there you go, 36 meters from tip to tip. Now, if you hold in your left mouse button and drag it up and down, you will adjust the height. If you hold in your left, left mouse button and pull it side to side, you will adjust the uh, width of your tires. If you hold in the right mouse button and press up and down, you will control that going up and down. So if you had a hilly field, that might come in handy, right? And if you hold in the right, right mouse button and side to side, you will control the other side. So that is it for mouse controls. Let us put that back and we will go over to the voucher and take a little look. Now let me just take this... Oh, don't hit the voucher, please. Not like I'll do damage to it, but here I just happen to have the other uh, Challenger right here that you can choose from. We're going to go over the shop here in a second. I got to show you that. So you can notice you can change the tank color. You can take chrome or just the regular color. And the other thing you can change is the wheel width. Now, believe it or not, these are wide tires and these are thin tires. You can tell a little bit there. Not a huge difference in the uh, size, but I do believe that's all you can change with that. Um, let me check just to be sure. Just go to purchase it. Narrow tires, wide tires, yeah. Normal tank and a stainless steel tank. And of course you're going to pay a little bit more for the stainless steel tank. Yes. So a quarter million dollars for that. It's not cheap. That's very nice. Okay, let's take the Veltra. Let's go over and take a look at that very very nice now the person that made this I do believe it's the person that made this uh, I guess they had a competition that well not a I shouldn't say a competition but uh, they got 25,000 likes on their fake Facebook so they went ahead and released this mod I guess from what I'm seeing on the link you can read the uh, link page yourself that's what I make of it anyway this is the Valtra T-Series Gold Edition and it's front loader compatible uh, the file size is 32 megabytes the power now there's two different sizes. There's a T194 and a T234. So the power of the T194 is 154 kilowatts and 210 horsepower. 
and the bigger one the 234 is 184 horsepower and 250 horsepower so yeah another 60 horsepower more powerful the prices range between 170 and 190 thousand that's just for the basics no extras and a daily maintenance fee of between or between 260 and 300 dollars uh, max speed of 50 kilometers an hour and I do believe that's about it now, we'll take a little walk around of this very nice man is it ever sharp looking now, I have the wheel weights on this you can only get narrow tires uh, wheel weights or regular tires you can't get doubles or uh, wide but there's the wheel weights looks really good in gold love that stack I always like that about the Velchers the way that stack goes anywho let's get our thing up or toolbar in the corner and I don't see any extra features so let's just go over a couple things we'll try out headlights back brights good to go let's try out our beacons our hazards good to go hazards work then the signal light should work very good horn very good okay let's jump inside All right, looking interior, not bad at all. Let's start this up. No, I don't know. There's no speedometer, is it? That one in the middle is not a speedometer. It can't be. Or maybe it is. I don't know. I can't tell. Can't really see anything. A couple of numbers there, but not a bad looking interior. And like I said, I don't see any added features up in the top left hand corner, so. We will just go right into the shop and take a look at that. Then we'll get them out and test them out. So, all the way to the end, there's the Valtra T Series Gold Edition. Uh, 170,000, same as the regular one, but there's a few different things. Like I said, you can uh, get the front loader attacher if you want or no. Comes in the T194 and the T234. Standard wheel weights or narrow tires, that's it. That's all you choose from 50 kilometers an hour. And yeah, I think we covered everything there. So let us go test these out. Now I'm just going to stay in the Valtra since a minute now. And we're going to go take this for a little spin. Very sharp looking tractor, man. I like that. Got a lot of downloads today, like 300 downloads just off the site I got it from. So it's pretty popular. Trying to read that. Yeah, he's 25,000 likes and he released this. Wow. Crazy. Okay. So, like I said, this is 250 horsepower. So, I do have a, a Kuhn um, cultivator here that requires 250 horsepower to pull. So, this should be just about perfect for this. Very nice. Love this Kuhn gear, man. It's really nice. Okay, let's drop that down, and take it for a haul, okay, and we are cultivating, yeah, it would have been nice if I put a weight on the front of that, but I didn't want to make it look like something that it's not, I don't think this came with any weights, let me check the weight situation here, no, no moderate weights, so this thing just works great guys. I'm going to try to hire a worker and no problem at all. She's getting it done with ease. Okay, so we can get you to stop here for a moment. And we're going to jump out and run on over to our sprayer. Now we're going to actually get him down to the field down here. Because this one's already cultivated and stuff. So we can just add some spray. I know the uh, fertilizer looks pretty cool coming out of this thing too, so yeah, it handles pretty good, looks good with the beacons on, yeah, I really, really like that, so you can see I can t I t kind of tested it there already, okay. we'll start to unfold this on our way over, Get a little look at it, what are you in my way? Okay, we'll back up here a bit. Yeah, they're going to be right my way. Oh well, I'll just avoid them. So, turn the spray on. Check out the animation for the spray, guys. It looks fantastic. 
And we're cruising along here, 30 kilometers an hour. Spray him. Okay, that's going to be a problem, isn't it? I don't know, I didn't want to fold you up, but I just want you to stop spraying. I first need to unfold. Okay, it's not unfolded all the way. Okay. Doesn't that look great? Fantastic. Really good job. And spraying at 30 kilometers is uh, not bad at all. So there you have it, guys. Let me jump on out here. I'll turn that off. That was the Challenger Rogator 1300 in the Valtra T-Series Gold Edition. Additional information and links will be down below in the description as always. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's review. If you did, maybe you could leave a like on your way out. And if you're new to the channel, guys, and you uh, enjoyed the video, why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen, and I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and Let's Plays every other day. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Take care, and I'll see you all in the next one.